What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Tizzle and today we are bringing you episode number three of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Guns for Dummies. In today's episode we're going to be showing you the Augur DMR which is in the tactical rifle category where we be reviewing this gun and going over and also showcasing a gameplay. Kind of give you a uh, feel for the gun and let you guys see what it can do in the line of combat. Alright so first off we're going to do our spread test, we're going to do a little accuracy test, and um, we're going to do a hit fire test as well, and then we'll get into the stats in the lobby. We'll create a class. I just procedure this weapon, so I don't have a lot of things I can do with it, but we're going to create a class, and then we're going to get into a gameplay. All right, for the recoil test, we're going to do the same test we've done for the past two episodes, and I plan on doing these episodes every other day or every two days. I'm pump them out faster. I want to make sure I get all the guns done so you guys aren't waiting, and you know, by the time the game's over with in the end of its cycle, I don't want to have the last episode coming out, so I'm going to get these out as fast as I can. To start off, we're going to do this little test. It's going to be about 10 to 15 yards. We're going to aim chest high on this wall, and then we're just going to fire and take our finger off the right stick. I'm literally firing as fast as I can. So as you can see, there's the spread. All 20 bullets were in these two holes right here. Um, that one's going away. But all 20 bullets were in these two holes. There's no attachments on this gun as well. So it's pretty accurate. You don't have to worry about a lot of um, stuff going on there. I don't think you can't hold your breath on the scope either. So that was just a straight. Not even touching the right stick at all. I mean, you saw the grouping. Pretty insane. Next up, we're going to do our uh, recoil at range test and see how we can... Um, predict it and how we can use our stick skills to get rid of the recoil so we're going to do it first on this target no i think we do this one we usually do this one so this one right here we're going to shoot and we're not going to put our thumb on the right stick we're just going to aim in the middle and just shoot all right now on this one we're going to hold our thumb on the right stick and try to negate the recoil And as you see that I mean there wasn't much difference between the two the gun doesn't move I mean this one was a little over the, the middle circle but this one right here did not move at all so that's kind of what you're working with here our next test we have is the hip fire test and we're gonna do it from this range we're gonna use the same range for every single test with every gun so we're gonna aim about chest high and then we're going to shoot So that's kind of the spread we're working with. We'll do it one more time. Keep in mind where my crosshairs are on the screen and where the bullets are going. So they're pretty much everywhere. For the hip fire, I mean, obviously it's not the best hip fire weapon because, I mean, it is a DMR, it is a tactical, it's a gun that it's meant to take out people from the long range. So just keep that in mind when, when reviewing that. All right, the last test we're going to do is the range test, and we're going to see how many times we can hit this target in one clip, just rapid firing, just to see what the accuracy is like at range, recoil, how it plays effect with no attachments on the gun, and let's do it. Every single shot, every single shot hit, no attachments on the gun, you can't hold your breath. There's nothing else helping you, handicapping me. It's yeah, that was pretty awesome. So next up, guys, we're gonna go into the lobby. We're gonna go over a class setup. We're gonna go over the stats of the weapon, talk about some things, and then we're gonna get into a gameplay. See you guys there. All right, guys. So we are back in the lobby here with the create a class section. And as you can see, there are three weapons in the tactical rifle section. We have the Augur DMR, the ABR 223 and the swordfish which I am currently working on you're gonna see a gameplay of that literally right before this episode goes out so be on the lookout for that I dropped 70 kills with the weapon I don't think I think every single game I play with it I average like 60 kills so it, it this game this gun right here is insane we'll get to that one later let's talk about the auger DMR literally level one sorry for the squeaky chair it's literally level one so I just prestiged it we're not gonna be able to make a class unfortunately but I mean we'll still use the gun and, and see how it plays out default so let's talk about the stats 
Oh, well, first of all, it's a semi-auto tactical rifle, highest damage in the class with reliable accuracy at range. And we saw that, it displayed that when we uh, shot the target at range, and it had no movement whatsoever. I mean, we did it two or three times. We did it to both targets um, over on the firing range, and then we also did the long shot target with, with no misses. It was insane. As for damage, like the description said, it is 10 out of 20, which is the highest damage in the class. Second is the ABR at 8, and then third is the Swordfish at 7. When it comes down to range, it is second in range in the class at 9 out of 20. Um, for fire rate, it is last in fire rate because it is the only semi-automatic gun in the class. The other two are burst. For the accuracy, it is 11 out of 20, which is second in the class. And then for magazines, it's tied with all three at three mags. And it comes with 20 bullets, which is last in the class in magazine size. Um, highest is 36. And then it does come with a operator mod, which is the double tap. And double tap is exactly what it sounds like. It lets you shoot two bullets instead of one bullet. Very effective. I've seen people use it at higher levels, and it is insane. I mean, I don't think there's an operator mod on here that's not insane. I think that's kind of what they were going for. When you put on the operator mod, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, you know, different. Uh, a good change of pace. And this one definitely does that when you throw on the double tap. All right, guys. We were going to create a class, but, I mean, since we really can't, I'm just gonna go over the camos like usual, and I mean we're gonna throw on the dead silence and, and ghost, and and then we'll just put something together since we can't really put attachments on the gun. So here's hunt. Um, I'm just gonna scroll through the camos, let you guys see them on the gun. See what they look like. And of course, red tiger and agitator just look amazing on here. Roller rink looks really well as or really good as well. And lastly, here's the gold camo. We are almost done with the swordfish, and we'll be getting that diamond soon. So, yeah, so usually when I make a class, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a red dot instead of a reflex sight instead of the default scope. I mean, but the default scope's not bad. I just prefer the reflex because it gives me a little more um, mobility with it. I could push people that have, you know, medium range fights or closer range fights because I could get my scope up quicker. So we usually go red dot, we do like long barrel and like FMJ. Um, high caliber, high caliber two anyways, does increase damage to upper chest. So that's also something that you might want to look at. It gives you two points to the damage, which will bump it up to 12 damage, which literally makes it a, a two shot, you know, a one shot to the head at times. And then I'd throw on long barrel. So yeah, it'd be long barrel, high cow, high cow two, red dot. Um, if I do one high cow then I'll, i mean i still have on the red dot but it just depends on if i want to use that third attachment slot or not so for this class we're going to be adding the cosmic device because i want to earn some score streaks i'm going to put on ghost and dead silence because i love them um i kind of want to do skulker but i mean i feel like this would be good with this class move faster while crouched and prone but i don't have a stock on it and I feel like stock and skulker is even more OP. So I'm just going to throw on lightweight to, uh, you know, no, I'll put on skulker for this. I won't move as fast. Then we're going to do scavenger because, I mean, you're slow as dirt with this gun. And lastly, we'll throw on flak jacket. And I guess we got to throw on something else too. So let's go ahead and do a Mog 12. All right, for this game, really haven't decided what I want to play, but I think we're going to do mercenary capture mosh pit just because it gives you a wide variety of game modes and you don't have to worry about six stacks. So let's go ahead and play one of these and see what we can do. See you guys there. Enemy as good as ours. Keep it tight and buy the numbers. See you. Securing out. All right, guys, so the last game I was in started late. I got in there. It wasn't really, I mean, nothing really went on. I went 18 and 13. Got some attachments, but didn't put them on there because, you know, I'm a bad bitch. I'm not a bad bitch, but hey. 
So we're gonna get into another game. I got Skulker on. I didn't even know I had Skulker on last game. I just like completely forgot. But here we go. We got a start to finish game right here. I'm gonna play this one all the way through. You guys are gonna see all this one. Usually I try to do this in one game, but I mean, if I get into a game at halftime, then might as well play a second one, huh? Might add something from the last game too, just to show you guys. This isn't the best auger map though. This is a um, closer range map. I mean, you do have lanes where you can, you know, just gonna just drive. Um, it's gonna probably be better with attachments on here. But you know, we'll let it rip. We'll let it fly. This guy shredded me last game though. The, him and the uh, scoliosis man. So we're looking for some revenge on those guys. Up. Oh, this guy right here. They're done. You guys are blasting me. the best spot right now we need to try to get the B flag yeah this guy has the LMG and it's really really strong we need to try to force a fight at B it's kind of like longer range can't really see anything from here Oh, there's three. This Felipe guy, bro. He's like, dude. He's honest. This game. Let's get the shotgun out of here. Okay. Scoliosis man is camping in the corner. He's one, dude. All right, nice. We got this guy. Neutralized enemy sensor. All right, so we got A and C, which means which means we gotta grab this flag right now to force them. We need to grab beads to force them to commit to one side so we can put them in more of a spawn trap. Um, it's better to hold a, a like a, one of the outside spawns or force them to hold one of the outside spawns. Come on bro, we're just shooting him a little faster. So we're losing A, which is not good because we still don't have B. Gotta grab B. There we go, we got four on B, four on B. Alright, we got B. Hopefully they take out that guy. 12 and 7, not really the best looking game right now. Um, let's reset this right here. Uh, we just had a teammate kill himself with a fire break thing. Alright, so there is someone right here, I think. Alright, team, we gotta get the B. One of our Scoliosis man and Felipe. I told you guys. Hey, they got my number. Especially with this class. What is this thing? What is that noise I was hearing? Sensor dot out. Not good. 
We might need to push all the way to C again and force them to uh, commit suicide. Gonna be a guy right here. Got him. Boom down. It's just like, wait till we get to the Titan, guys. Like you, you guys saw gameplay of it already from my channel, but dude, it's that, it's that serious. Stupid. What was that? Why did you jump off the map? I wish he would have jumped off the map with that in hand. So we got six six objectives, two captures, four objective kills. Um, we've done 2,400 damage. This is coming out of and dude, it's really just a Titan that's shredding us. I think Scolios man hasn't really killed us that much, but I mean, you can see 16 to 6. Hasn't, I don't think he's been moving around. They got really good kill death ratios over there. Ooh. Switching sides. I hate scrolling down and seeing big negatives like that. Then one of my teammates just quit. And it wasn't even a. Oh man. Why can't I see Felipe's mic? Enemy has a. Securing B. We have. There's a recon sensor. It's a dart. Bravo. Okay, there. Wait, dude, you just were there. You were there. Losing Bravo. Oh my god. My teammate was there. I thought he he knew the guy who had jumped up or was Enemy where the guy was. Me. He looked at me like I was dumb. Securing Bravo. Hey, we got this fight now, boys. Enemy UAV above. Sit. Be secure. This whole battle at is that B thing is just frustrating. Like when you're playing from behind, it's kind of like in football, American football. You have, to, uh, you have to you have to start passing. You, know, you have to start passing the ball. And what that does is it forces you, you know, obviously to throw, but you're gonna throw more interceptions here. If you're playing from behind, you're gonna get more deaths. Can't do that little spot. So you can really see, like, at, <laughs> if I'm holding the head glitch, no one can kill me, for the most part. Just jump down to me. Good done. I think we do have to grab A here to force that flip. Not really much else. They're winning all of those gunfights, so. Two stores open. Gotta do something. Take an A. Sensor dot out. He spawned. Dude, Losing what? Alpha. Spawns on this game need to be fixed a little bit. Take if he's B. spawning right there and they have a flag. Something's a little iffy. Where'd my hit red go? Enemy UAV above. Yeah. It's a big oof right here. A locked out. Oh. Alpha. Oh. 
but this is a big oof. I got people on my back in my spawn somehow. I mean, we capped this flag, but I think it's just spawning like a neutral at like B or something around this area. Losing C. Securing B. Enemy took Charlie. No one's on the flag. Enemy hellstone detected. Bravo, down. Use that on me. Losing B. I'm gonna shred it, guys. This isn't good. We can't win from here. We can try to recap and win. This is literally our only way of winning. Intel wins wars. Wait, there's one on. I'm the only one kill. Securing Bravo. Bro, come on, man. Losing B. Wasting fire. Ooh, four v fives in the game. Survivors. Um. At second most, third, I mean, first most damage on my team, obviously, but that's a that's a big L I just held right there. We won the last game, but these two guys right here. So I tied for first kills. But the deaths, I died a lot because I'm trying to play from behind. I'm trying to cap flags. I hate losing, but there you go, guys. There's a little gameplay with the gun. Sorry it was an L. I think I, I'm going to try to... Post wins only. Obviously, I'm gonna try to, I try to win every single game, but I try to post wins only. That sucks. But, um, yeah, so that's the Augur DMR, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Did a little series that I'm, I have going on. Me posting these map tutorials. I think I'm gonna do those the same. So I think I'm gonna do a map tutorial, gun guide. Map tutorial, gun guide. Just do a back and forth like that. Alternate them and just pump them out until we're all done. Because I don't want to be doing normal uh, base launch maps. By the time DLCs come out, so I'm gonna try to get these out as fast as possible. Same with guns. I'm gonna get all the guns out before DLC guns start coming out. So I'm gonna do that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Um, I, I post videos every single day. I stream for the most part every single day unless I update you guys. And um, yeah, so I'm about to turn the stream on right now. It is 9 a.m. or 8:53 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and render this video, post it, and I should be live by the time this goes up, or I should be getting off of my first stream and getting ready for my second stream. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment for uh, any questions, comments, or concerns. So, thank you guys. As always, it's been your boy Jay Tizzle. I'm out. Peace.